Inside our knees, we have these structures called the menisci, which are basically soft cushions made out of soft cartilage. And their role is to help transfer forces and loads across the joint from the thigh bone called the femur to the leg bone called the tibia. Now, if there is a meniscus tear or the meniscus is missing, then the contact pressures in the knee go up much higher. And if this happens, it causes damage and eventual breakdown of this smooth, hard coating of cartilage that coats the end of the bones. And if that breaks down, we call that arthritis. In this video, I will show you the actual surgical procedure of how we repair one of these torn menisci through a micro procedure, minimally invasive procedure called arthroscopy. Hi, I'm Dr. Edmund Kleeman. I'm an orthopedic surgeon here in New York City. I specialize in sports medicine and arthroscopic surgery. There are different kinds of meniscus tears. Some are degenerative tears. This is just wear and tear. As people get older, things break down and the meniscus can also wear down and tear. And then there are traumatic tears. That could be an injury while skiing, or maybe you're doing a heavy loaded squat and something happens inside the knee and the meniscus tears. That is a traumatic tear. When an injury occurs and there's a traumatic meniscus tear, very often there's swelling in the knee, pain, and sometimes there's limited range of motion because the torn piece of meniscus is blocking the knee. Now, when the patient comes to our office to be evaluated, we'll do a physical exam to find some of these things that we just mentioned, and then we'll also send the patient for imaging, such as an MRI, which can look inside the knee and show us if there is a tear. If we identify a meniscus tear, we want to see if we're able to fix it. Now, some tears are not fixable, but those that are amenable to being repaired, we want to fix it because if we can return the anatomy to its normal state, then we can help prevent arthritis from occurring down the road. This is a model of the knee, thigh bone, leg bone, meniscus, which is this cushion here. This is the meniscus. And sometimes it will tear and flip like this. That's called a bucket handle tear, which blocks the ability for the knee to extend all the way. And during surgery, we have to flip that piece back and then we put our stitches in the back to repair it. In this video here, this is arthroscopy. That's the flipped bucket handle meniscus blocking our view into the joint. That's my probe. We're about to flip the meniscus. We just did, we pushed it back in. There's some red inflammatory tissue and fragments floating around. But here you can see we've pushed the meniscus back into the joint and now we can see into the joint. Here is my probe. I've already put one stitch in and we're checking the meniscus to see where we need to put more stitches. Here we're in the midst of placing one of the sutures and uh, this suture is all inside technique. And then this would be the final product after the meniscus has been put back into its place with the multiple stitches and that's the final repair. For those patients who have this bucket handle meniscus tear where the meniscus has flipped upside down and we've repaired it, what is the success rates? And there was a meta-analysis of 38 studies that included over 1,300 bucket handle meniscus tears. And they found that overall the failure rate was 15%. So why does a meniscus tear that we repair sometimes not heal? And in this case of this meta-analysis in those 15%. So one of the main reasons is that the meniscus, which is a piece of cartilage, does not have its own intrinsic blood supply. It relies on the peripheral capsule to get its blood supply in. And so we think that in some of these cases, the blood supply is not able to get in to heal the tear. Another possibility in some of these more severe tears, like the bucket handle tear, is that the damage to the tissue could just be so extensive that it's not able to heal anymore. Let's wrap up this video and go over a few key points. Number one, the meniscus is critical in helping to transfer loads across the knee joint. Number two, in those patients who have a meniscus tear, the contact pressures in the knee go up and they are more likely to develop arthritis in the future. And number three, for those people who have this bucket handle meniscus tear where the meniscus is flipped over, they have an 85% success rate if they undergo surgery to have it repaired. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you found it helpful. If you did, please click the like button below and subscribe. I look forward to seeing you in my next video or in my office.